hidden in the mountains of the West is Sunlight Valley, where an important solar research project has attracted many of the world's great scientists. Sparky and his friends from the research center are about to blast off in an exciting adventure known as the Space Shuttle Journey. Ladies and gentlemen, we're just about one minute away from this historic launch of the space shuttle. I wish I could be there in person, watching the launch with Booker, Rom, and Chang. Not me. I don't want to be that close. That rocket looks like a stick of dynamite to me. Walk? What is it? What is it? Walk? Power to chicken. Power to chicken. Do you want to be an astronaut when you grow up, Sparky? Yeah. More than anything else in the world. More than what God may want you to be? I don't know. Look, it's time for the space shuttle to take off. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. We've gone for main engine start. We have main engine start. Wow! Keto! Sparky, let's play with the rocket swing you made in the backyard. Yeah, and you guys can give Pam and me a push. You boys did a great job on that rocket swing. If I were smaller, I wouldn't mind riding it myself. I know what you mean, Mr. Packard. Walk your grounded, walk your grounded. What's taking them so long? I want to ride. Walk, blast off, blast off. Here we come. Lunch time! Ready for takeoff! This is fun! <laughs> yeah! Whee! You're unhappy about something, aren't you? You're disappointed because you didn't get to go to the space launch. I'm sorry my work as a storekeeper doesn't provide us with enough money to take airplane trips across the country. But you know, Sparky, God made me a storekeeper because that's the place I can serve him best, where I can tell the most people how important it is to be a Christian. Come on, Sparky, help me push. I'm getting tired. Look out, Chub. Oh, yeah! Oh. Oh. Well, I never thought I would ever see Chub that far off the ground. The foolish follies of space travel. We have perfectly good vehicles and good highways. So why do people need to risk their necks up in the sky? We'd be much better off without those airplanes and space rockets. Well, I'm grateful for airplanes. That means our friends can get back from the space center much faster. Yeah, but you better hope they make it back without crashing. Mrs. Simpson, an airplane is actually safer than a car. 
but we trust God for the safety of our friends, no matter how they travel. Everybody ready back there? We're ready, Mr. Packard. I have to the airport on time. Me too. I love to see those jets land, especially when our friends are on it. Ram Ching and Booker should have some exciting stories to tell us. Well, we should be there in plenty of time. Oh no! We've been shot at! Oh, am I hit? Oh, call it! This dumb old truck. I should have traded in these old tires. Oh no! Now we won't get to the airport on time. Help me get the tire and the jack out of the back of the truck, Sparky. Sure, Dad. Here at last. Oh, big birds, big birds. I don't see Sparky yet, Father. Come on, kids. They're probably waiting for us. Here they come. Hey, guys. Boy, did we have a terrific time at the Space Center. Yes, yeah, Sparky. You should have been there. We went to the control room and saw the launch of the space shuttle from a special tower. Excuse me, fellows. I'm a reporter from the Sunlight Valley News. How about some photos for the newspaper? Everybody wants to know about your trip. Yes, yes. Yeah. Whoopee! Oh, big deal, big deal. Good. Hold it. Okay, boys. One more shot. Hold it. Hmm. Well, isn't that something? Lucky, guys. You should be happy for your friends. Yeah, I guess so. I'll get the door, Dad. Hi, guys. Hey, Sparky. We have big news. Well, what's it all about? My father just got a call from the Space Center. They want to include our comet search experiment as part of the next space shuttle mission. You mean the experiment we developed in science class? That's right, Sparky. How exciting. We're going to the lab to work on an experiment. Want to come, Sparky? Uh, no, that's OK, guys. OK, you wanted me to come here. Now, what's this experiment all about? Here, yeah, Chubb, look at this picture. What do you see? Uh, a comet, I think. Right. So? Our experiment is to use a telescope on the space shuttle. It will have an optical sensor that will send a signal back to Earth. This computer from school will analyze the signal. Uh-huh. Uh, so what's next? In the computer's memory is the position of every star in this picture. If even the faintest comet moves into this area of the sky, we'll find it. Wow, wow, wow! Oh, okay, oh, okay. This is a neat computer, Rom. Oh, wait, uh, this plug is out of the socket. Uh, hey, I know what. Rom, I'm going to help you with your experiment. What? Oh, no, Chub, don't, don't plug it in. Smarts. Ah, bright feathers, bright feathers. You okay, Chubb? Yeah. Chubb, that plug needs to be fixed. Don't do anything without asking first. You can count on that, Rom. Hello? Yes. Fantastic news. Oh? And the boys, too? Booker, Ram, and Ching? Okay, I'll be in touch. Bounce 
Mr. Sparky? Sparky? Hi, Rom. We did not mean to leave you out of the experiment. Well, you guys are the scientists. I mean, your father's work at the Solar Research Center. Hey, Rom. Your dad wants us at the Research Center. He's got important news. Let's go, Sparky. I think it's just for us guys. You know, Rom? See you later. Sparky! Sparky! Come on and push us again. Come on! Come on, tell me the news. As soon as Ching and Rom get here, Booker. Oh, I can't wait! Come on. Ah, here they are. What's the news, Father? How would you boys like to ride on the space shuttle? What? what? The space agency wants to involve more and more people in the shuttle program. That's why we're going on the next flight to perform your comet search experiment. Of course, they realize that you couldn't go unless your fathers go also. Wait for me! Pam and I are going out to do some shopping. Sparky! Sparky! So long, dear. Oh. Ah! Nice of you to drop in again, Chubb. Uh, sorry, Mr. Paggart. Uh, I meant to knock. <laughs> What's up, Chubb? You'll never believe this. Rom, Ching, and Booker have been invited to go with their fathers on the next shuttle flight. What? Oh, my. Is that so? Yeah. Call them and ask them. They're flying back to the Space Center on Saturday to begin training for the mission. Huh. I never dreamed I'd ever see some of our friends flying on the space shuttle. Hmm. Sparky. Sparky, I'd like to read you something. A familiar verse every Christian should know. Philippians 2, verses 3 and 4. Do nothing out of selfish ambition, but in humility consider others better than yourself. Sparky. God has a plan for your life. And if you want to do what God wants, then sometimes he may send disappointments and testings, but only as a way of guiding and preparing you. God lets us experience things so we can help others when they are in need. Do you understand that, son? I guess so, Dad. Son, I wanted to go on the shuttle flight just as much as you did, but I need to operate the computers on the ground at the Solar Research Center. Neat, Sparky. Ah, look out! Can I try it? Okay, but be careful. I can do it, Sparky. See? Oh, no way. Thanks, Sparky. Here. Sparky, my parrot didn't mean to do it. Sparky, what happened? Nothing goes right for me. I've never seen you like this before. I don't mean to. Sparky? Sparky, come here, please. Uh-oh. I need to talk to you about Booker. Booker's at the Space Center, isn't he? No, he's home. He's not going on the flight because his dad is needed on the ground to operate the computers at the research center. That's right. If his father doesn't go, Booker can't go. Yes, and Booker is really disappointed. I'll go see Booker right away, okay, Dad?
I'm sorry you can't go on the space flight, Booker. I think I understand how disappointed you feel. You wanted to go too, didn't you, Sparky? Sure, but my dad showed me that the Bible teaches us not to be disappointed when things don't go the way we want them to, because God may have a reason for it. Hey, Sparky, you could help me with the experiment. We'll get to talk to Ching and Rom when they're on the space shuttle. That'd be neat, Booker. Folks, we're only seconds away from this historic launch. Two young boys and their fathers will participate in a major civilian experiment to find undiscovered comets. Oh, I can't stand this. I'm too nervous to watch. Imagine how Ching and Rob must feel, waiting to take off in that rocket. We have made engine ignition. Three, two, one, and... Blast off! Blast off! And it looks like another perfect launch. In a couple of days, the boys on this flight will attempt to complete their comet search experiment. Good morning, Mr. Paggart. Hi, Sheriff. Are you keeping up on all the space shuttle news? Am I? Why, it's the talk of the entire town. That's for sure. Why, there isn't a radio in town not tuned into the... Uh, oh. Good morning, Mrs. Simpson. In a few minutes, we'll get a direct video from the space shuttle. Wow! I'm glad you guys let me come. But what's gonna happen? It's Ram and Ching! Right, and we'll soon have two-way communications when we're ready to start the experiment. The space shuttle mission continues to proceed on schedule. Within a few hours, the young boys on this mission will start their innovative experiment. This is exciting. This is truly going to be a historic mission for the shuttle program. Roger, shuttle. Proceed with opening of bay doors. Bay doors are open. It's almost time. Let's review the procedures again. Right, Father. Proceed with telescope deployment. Ready, Ching? Ready, Rom. In just a few minutes, boys, we'll be able to talk directly to Booker at the research center. Begin pre-tests of telescope movements. Roger. Rom, proceed with telescope movement test. Huh? Uh, oh, uh, okay. Easy, son. Take it slow. Ah, got it. Telescope is in motion. I copy. Proceed. Prepare to receive space shuttle transmissions. Okay, boys. Let's get ready. You do the talking, Sparky. I'm better at working the computer. Sure, Booker. Wow. Talk to the guys on the space shuttle. Oh, this is exciting. Rom, communications are now open to the Solar Research Center. Be ready, Sparky. You'll hear Rom any minute. I'm ready. Ready, Booker? Right. As soon as I get this computer working. This is Rom 2 Research Center. Do you hear me, guys? I hear you, Rom. Good. We're only a few minutes from the sky area where our experiment will take place. Is all the equipment ready? Is the computer ready yet? Uh, I don't know. Nothing's coming up on the computer's monitor. Hold on, Rom. We've got a problem. What? Oh, no. Can you fix it, Booker? And now, for the special announcement on the flight of the space shuttle, let's go directly to the Kennedy Space Center. Oh. Apparently, a hitch has developed in the experiment to be conducted by the shuttle's two very young astronauts. Oh, no. A computer malfunction may cancel the experiment entirely for this flight. My, this is awful. 
Hurry up, guys. Time is running out. Do something, Booker. I'm trying. I'm trying. But nothing's coming up on the screen. It's blank. Rom, proceed with positioning telescope. We are nearing the target area. All right. Telescope is now moving into experiment position. But what good will it do if the computer's not working? Easy, son. It's not hopeless yet. One minute to Comet Search Target Area. Help! Help! You can say that again. Booker really does need help now. Now what? Huh? Oh, 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 no way. I'm not touching that again. Anyway, so what if it's not plugged in? What's, What's not, not plugged, plugged in? in? That plug. Oh, no. That's the plug to the monitor. I fixed it after you got a shock, but I forgot to plug it back into the socket. Plug it in, Chuck, quick. Hurry up, boys. Uh-uh. No way. I'm not going to touch that again. Hurry up, guys. Only seconds left. Look out, Chuck. There. Uh, oh, <laughs> nothing happened. That did it, Sparky. Data is coming on the screen. The computer's not working, Rom. Great. The telescope will be moved to search four different areas. Ching will monitor the data that will be transmitted to the computer at the Solar Research Center. Ten seconds to target area. Ready, Sparky? Ready, Rom. First data, transmitting. Ah, look! The computer is matching up the star field with its data bank. No comets. Second quadrant, transmitting. No comets, again. Come on, guys! Negative again, Rob. Quadrant three, transmitting. Nothing again! Only one more transmission. I'm afraid the experiment has failed. Don't give up yet, son. Quadrant four, transmitting. Here goes. Last time. Huh? Wait a minute. I think we found one. An up-to-the-minute news flash. The shuttle's comet search experiment is a success. The boys have found a comet. Yippee! Oh, my goodness, they did it! Wow, Dad was right. About what, Sparky? Letting God direct your life. I thought I'd only be happy if I were on the shuttle. But now I see that God knew what part I could best serve. Right, and each of you did the best you could. Why, the experiment was a complete success. Now you're all heroes. And, and even me. Why, I found the plug. God will use all of us if we just trust him and look for his guidance. Now I understand what my dad was trying to teach me from the Bible. In everything, acknowledge him, Sparky, and he shall direct your paths. One, two, there they're down.